everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 24 inch uh, canvas. I'm going to do a funnel pour and I've only used this funnel one time and I thought let's use it again, see what happens here. Um, let's go over my paint. My base coat today is a combination of Liquitex Basics parchment and I did add some Blick um, white to that. So I just ended up with this real creamy color. Let me show you here. Just a nice off-white color. And that paint is the only paint that was, was mixed. Two parts Floetrol, one part paint, Scordic 800, and then about a teaspoon of the Liquitex uh, Gloss Medium. All my other paints today are mixed with the mix. Seven, part, seven parts of the mix to one part of paint. And all the paints were just thinned with a little bit of water. So let's go over the rest of my paints. I am using the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents White Pearl. Very pretty pearly color. And I'm using, it's US Art Quest Perfect Pigment, the Deep Sky Blue. And again, that same company, the U.S. Art Quest Perfect Pigments Burnt Umber. And same company again, the Metallic Light Gold. My next color is the Folk Art Color Shift. It's the Green Flash. My next color is Master's Touch brown red and I really do like this color very pretty master's touch brown red and my last color is deco art their texture line and this is the teal green okay like I said these are all mixed with seven part mix to one part paint thin with a little bit of water and let me show you the consistency I did leave it a little bit on the thicker side here today because I am going to be doing this funnel pour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stop the camera. I'm gonna put down my base coat. I'm going to fill my funnel with my paints, layer them, and then I'll bring you back and we're gonna start painting. Okay, hey everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat of my off-white or cream color down. I have filled my pitcher, as you can see, and I did top it off with just a little bit of the base coat there, and looks like it sunk a little bit. But what I'm going to do is just tip this up a little bit, and I'm going to start in the middle. And I'm just going to bring the paint right down the middle here. Plenty of paint for this canvas here. And I am going to be very curious to see how the um, mix works with this base coat that has the flow trial in it. If I get any cells at all. I really do like using the mix. It's just a wonderful product. You can see layers and layers and layers when you use the mix. Okay, and I think I will do a quick torch before I start tipping here. I did mix most of these paints up yesterday, so hopefully I won't have too many air bubbles. some of my base coat left I'm gonna just add a little here 
to help that paint move. And a little bit on this side too, just where it looks a little thin, I think. Okay, now I think we can start some tipping. I'm just going to go back and forth here. Maybe bring it down a little bit. And I'll try and go off that corner. Okay. And I'm going to try and let you see most of this tipping as it's going on here. Bring it back down this way. And off the side. And I will get this corner down here. And I will bring that back. That's looking very nice at the top. Just taking a look at it here. And I'm going to bring it down a little and then over this corner. And then bring it back. Now I'm going to bring that back down towards the middle. I do use these two long sticks here to hold my canvas up while I'm tipping. I like to put the push pins in the bottom. It helps me to hang on to something when it's so full of paint and your hands do get slippery. So I'm going to move this back down a little more here. Now I'm going to go off that side, that corner. Okay, and I'm going to bring that back. Okay. Just taking a look at it here. I think I'm going to take a little bit off on this corner again. Get 
very carefully here. Okay, and I'm going to bring this back down. I'll let you see it this way to bring it back down. Okay. And now I'm just going to take another look at it here. Check my corners. I think I would like to open this up a little bit more, but I really do like this down at the end. So I'm going to have to just be careful how I tip here. With strategy, I guess, is what you'd call it. And I do, I do like this down in here. So let's see how far I can bring this down. Well, first I'll run a little bit off this edge. If I can. Paint is starting to move a little bit slower, which is good. Okay. Turn the canvas the other way. Take a look at it. I'm going to try and open this up a little bit here by tipping down a little bit. And opening that up. I found that when you use the mix, if you're able to open up a little more, it, it gives you really, really neat effects. Okay, I'll bring that back just a little bit here. Okay. See how just opening that up has brought, has brought out a lot of those really nice effects there. And I think I'm going to just try and tip a little bit off there if I can. Okay, and I do see something really nice happening up in this area, and I'm going to be tipping it down again. Very, very pretty. <clears throat> A little bit more tipping and then I think I'll be done. It's so pretty. Very pretty painting. Loving the colors. Okay, we'll take another look at it here. And I'm going to take my palette knife and clean off the bottom.
and check the edges here. And I think I'll give it a torch and we'll get you down for a close up. Just a few cells in this area, but that's fine. I really wasn't looking for cells today. I was looking more on how the mix worked with that base that had the flow trowel. Okay, I'm going to get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up, and this is the upper left-hand corner, and we'll just go down the left-hand side here. I'll show you the areas that I really think are nice. Got some cells in here that popped up. I do like this area. You can see what the mix does. It allows all those different layers to come through like that. Very nice. This is the lower left-hand corner. You can see some shimmer in there too. And we'll go up the middle. I really do like all the browns in here. Very pretty. Crisp lines. Some of that flash did come through right there, and I see it in here, that green flash in those two areas. And then we'll take you over to the upper right-hand corner. And this is the area I was trying to stretch out because as you can see, the effects are just great. And in here, probably my favorite part of the whole painting is right here. It almost looks like clouds opening up there. And then we're going down the right-hand side here to the lower right corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time I do post a new video. I do appreciate you watching, and until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.